As triathletes, we can end up training hard for months on end and often end up racing countless times within one season. So naturally, when we get to the end of the year, we all like a little bit of downtime, some less focused training, what we call the off season. Yep, you'd be hard pushed to find a pro that doesn't take at least a couple of weeks off at the end of each season and enjoys a good old off season. But what does a pro really get up to during this period? They rest. Yeah, they make the most of all of those hours they usually spend training to simply put their feet up and properly chill out. Now, it's not very often in a season as a triathlete that you get to have that complete rest for mind and body. And yet this period is very much about mental recovery and physical recovery. And you might be worried that you're starting to lose some of that fitness, but the gains taken now will be far greater than the losses. Then there's cross training. You know, doing things that aren't swim and bike and run. Recently we saw Daniel Reef doing a bit of climbing. I can tell you, it's great for the upper body strength. <sighs> All right, enough of that. You get it? But there's also other things like skiing, cross country skiing, telemark skiing, whatever that is, mountain biking, uh, my new favorite, gravel riding. These things don't feel like the usual grind of training, but they still cross over and give us some aerobic strength, some strength work, and even some neck work while we're not actually training. Another thing that many of the pros will do during the off-season is put weight on. Oh yeah, thanks very much for that. Yeah, you heard me correctly. A lot of the pros will shed a little bit of weight around the main races of their season, which means when it gets to the off-season, they're quite happy to put that weight back on, and sometimes a little bit extra. In fact, that extra bit of weight can sometimes be regarded as healthy. It allows your body to recover and repair at a deep cellular level. And also, it's reported that it can sometimes help to prevent injury and illness too. But one thing that is definitely a fact is the fact that it's just the freedom. You don't have to monitor your diet as you may do during racing and during the main part of your season. It allows you just to enjoy food and socializing as and when you want. Cheers. reflect. Okay, being serious here, the off-season is actually a brilliant time to just reflect on that season gone by, analysing the good, the bad and the ugly. Now the pros will commonly use this time of year to look back on that season and maybe focus on some of the weaknesses or identify those weaknesses and work out plans on how the next season's going to look, what races they might want to do and how they're going to plan their training and their travel around that. And if this is something that's new to you, it's a really good idea to actually just start with a list and literally write down what went really well last season, what was kind of okay or didn't really change and the things that really didn't work out well. And from that list, then work out which you really want to target and how you're going to go about it. For some, the off season is the perfect time for a little body TLC, basically ironing out all those niggles and tightness that may have crept in throughout the season. Or maybe you haven't had anything, but now's a good time for a little bit of preventative care. Might be a good time now also to see a physio and have a bit of a physical MOT, or see a doctor and get a full body workout, like blood tests and everything. Or maybe you have had a serious injury and now's the time to do something drastic about it to be ready for next season. Also, you may want to consider doing a bit of yoga and flexibility. All those things that you neglect when you swim, bike, run, now you can address your flexibility and mobility in the off-season. Well, on that note, it's not uncommon to see the pros doing a bit more gym work during the off-season. No, it's not for everyone, but for those that do, they really tend to up their game during this period. And whilst the training's light and perhaps less race-focused, now may be the time to make those gains. And then moving into the race season, just focusing more on maintaining rather than improving. And similarly to the body maintenance, you might just want to focus on those weaknesses at this time of year. And important note here, don't forget leg day. Also, don't forget to book yourself a holiday or at least some time off. This can be immediately after your last race, whilst you have a couple of weeks off training or slightly further down the line. Basically, don't forget to have fun. Do that outside of the race season so that you can really get your head down when the time counts. 
If you like, you can even combine it with a training camp, as so many of the pros will do. And that's it for the off-season. Are there any more that we missed? I'm sure there are. But anyway, the main takeaway is that you need to enjoy this period. Do that now, and it'll make the hard work and sacrifice during the season that much more worth it. We've made it sound pretty good. Do you think we've earned an off-season? Oh, I think we're doing the off-season. Yeah, Perfectly. nice. Yeah. Good. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Remember to like and subscribe for more GTN videos. <laughs>